guys, my name is Sabine and finally welcome to another video. I know that I have not been as active as before on my booktube channel and I'm really sorry and I miss booktube so much. The last month I just haven't been able to finish a book and it feels like I haven't read in like three months but it's only been a month. But school has just been so extremely busy and it won't stop being busy until December so yeah I don't know how reading will go these next upcoming months and I'm not happy with it. I just really do want to read and I do want to make videos and I do want to watch booktube videos but I just don't have the time and every minute that I have off I'm just like trying to relax a bit but I still have like an urge to read I really want to read and this video is about the book series that I want to read because I have a ton of book series on my shelves that I haven't started yet so I chose a nine book series that I want to start really soon actually but I just probably can't and only one of those series I don't own so let's start with the first series that I really want to read so the first series that I chose for this is an ember in the the Ashes series by Sabah to hear the second book just came out I think at the end of September or the end of October uh August I mean <laughs> uh, but I haven't read An Ember in the Ashes yet so uh, I'm not buying A Torch Against the Night pretty soon but I am really interested in reading this fantasy book I have read the first chapter and I was like oh man I really want to continue with this but um, right now I just cannot fully emerge myself in a book and I know that if I can't do that I won't enjoy it as much as I would when I could immerse myself in the book. But the cover is beautiful. Lots of people have been enjoying this series. And because I haven't watched a lot of booktube videos lately, I don't know if A Torch Against the Night is just as good as An Ember in the Ashes, but I am excited to find out. But then another series that I am super interested in is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, especially since the fourth and last book came out in the beginning of this year. I believe it was like around April, The Raven King. That cover is so damn beautiful. Just like with An Ember in the Ashes, I've read the first chapter of this and I was really, really intrigued by it. It is like some sort of like contemporary fantasy magical realism novel. I want to start it right now. Then I have Slammed by Colleen Hoover and I believe that this is a trilogy, the Slammed trilogy, and I have read two? Is it true? Yeah, two out of all of Colleen Hoover's books and I just want to read more and I've heard that this series is not as good as like her other books. Um, I've heard like mixed opinions about Slammed but until so far I haven't been disappointed with Colleen Hoover so I hope that with Slammed I won't be disappointed as well. The next series that I have is the Winner series by Maria Rutkowski and I got the new cover for the Winner's Curse and at first I was like oh yeah I'm really digging these new covers but to be honest like everyone else has said, they look so much alike the Throne of Glass series. Like if for instance, I grab Crown of Midnight. Okay, look at this. This is crazy similar to each other. Like they're both holding the swords in the same hands. They're just like only opposites of each other. But this is crazy. Like these publishers, they did, they messed up. And like the other covers of like The Winner's Crime and The Winner's Kiss, they look a lot like the other Throne of Glass covers too. Like I love the Throne of Glass covers. So if this wouldn't be like a ripoff, I would have loved these as well, but they are ripoffs. So I'm not really happy about that. So I prefer the old covers. So yeah, I'm not really sure about that. I do think that I will be keeping this one, but I do hope that the next time that I will order on Amazon, I will get the original covers. This story is more of like a political fantasy book and I've never read anything like that before. So I am really excited to find out like what it is about because I don't really know much about it. I think that it's about a girl who gets a slave as like her birthday present. Don't quote me on that please, but and they fall in love and that's what I know. Guys, I'm really good at giving synopsis, so just be prepared for that, okay? I am also pumped for this next series, and these are the only two books that I bought in the last two months, so I'm really proud of myself for saving money. Um, but I've never read anything by this author, and I've heard great things about her books, and that is A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows by V.A. Schwab. And look at these covers. They are so stunning, but on the German Amazon, they are crazy expensive if you buy the hardcovers new. They are like 23 euros each. Each 23 euros. That's like $30 maybe per book. Uh, but I bought these secondhand for a really good deal. I bought them for like 10 euros each. So I was like, 
I need to get this because otherwise I will slap myself in the face if I don't. This is like a fantasy novel about parallel Londons. Like you have a grey London, black London, red London, and I believe a white London. If I enjoy this, I hope that I will be able to read more of V.E. Schwab's Victoria Schwab's books. The Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the first book, Illuminae. And I believe that Gemini, which is the second book, is coming out within like a week or something on like the 18th of October. And as you all know, this is a sci-fi book which has a really awesome format of like messages and emails and all that kinds of shenanigans. I am again really excited to read this because this will be my first or second sci-fi book and I really like sci-fi movies and TV shows like Stranger Things that's sort of sci-fi it. And then a duology that I really want to read is The Wrath and the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. These are 1000 Nights retellings. Like I have never read that story. I don't really know like what that is actually about. I believe that this book is about a prince who gets a new bride every single night and they always end up dead by the end of that night uh, and are main character's best friend has been killed too by the prince. So our main character sort of is like, okay, well I will be your bride. And then she sort of like is planning to kill the prince. And they're so beautiful and I cannot wait to read this because I have read Rebel of the Sands and that gave me like this really awesome like Arabic Arabic feeling. I don't know how you say that, but like, oh, it just felt so nice. And I hope that this will have like the same vibe as well. And then the last series that I don't own, but I really want to read them and they both have to deal with each other is the Grisha trilogy and the um, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom duology by Lee Bardugo. I have heard, again, really great things, especially about Crooked Kingdom and Six of Crows. And I've heard like some like mixed things about the Grisha trilogy, but I do really want to read that trilogy before I read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom because that's just, I feel like that is the right way to do it even though it doesn't matter if you read the duology first or the trilogy. I'm just very interested to see what this world is all about and everyone loves the characters. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these book series that I mentioned in this video. Give me your opinion, tell me if they are good or not and then I'll just like, you know, select which series I think I need to read first. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!